Allergic eye disease is, is relatively common, so most of us will experience what we call seasonal allergy. So this is hay fever, for example, or fever, um, hay fever symptoms in earlier on as they are now in the spring, uh, and this is called seasonal allergy. There are a small group of patients who experience the same symptoms but throughout the year, um, and this is called uh, atopic conjunctivitis. Um, it has certain associations, but not always, but uh, often patients will have a history of eczema, asthma, and will also have experienced hay fever at some stage. And the symptoms that they experience are, or you will experience, are itching of your eyes, watering, redness, uh, a burning sensation in your eyes, um, and most of us who have hay fever will, will know how debilitating those symptoms are in the summer season. Um, and these patients will have them throughout the year. Um, the, uh, the treatment of it's very simple. We use antihistamine eye drops. Uh, they take about a month to start working. Um, they can't often be bought over the counter. There are some that can. Um, uh, there are also what we call Mastel stabilizers. So they basically stabilize the immune response that results in the symptoms that patients experience. Uh, in a very small group of patients, we need to use anti-inflammatory drops, which we now have available. Um, and they, these drops are used throughout the year. Um, we can often um, use them for about a year, and then if patients are stable, start reducing the dose. Um, but that we have some patients who are on them uh, for, uh, for many years. Sometimes the disease itself burns itself out. Uh, and uh, sometimes children, uh, very young in their first decade of life, can experience an aggressive form of allergic eye disease called vernal uh, conjunctivitis that in extreme circumstances can make them go blind. I see a lot of allergic eye disease. I mean, it's very common now, especially in London, where um, it's a high level of pollution uh, and there are environmental factors here that may not you know, may, may not get in, for example, the countryside. And, uh, and so I see a lot of patients who will have um, quite aggressive forms of allergic eye disease. Uh, and it's very important in allergic eye disease to um, stop the cycle of inflammation. And that requires antihistamines and anti-inflammatories. And if that isn't done, then the disease can often persist into a much more chronic form where it can have consequences to vision and the surface of the eye.